I've gotten some requests for how to set up Vienna Ensemble Pro in Digital Performer. And I'm going to run through this real quick. So I've set up um, a blank Digital Performer document or project. This is what it looks like when it's completely blank. All right, so this is really easy to do. All right. Um, then you're going to go to the project menu, hold down the option key, go to add track, and go to instrument with options. And notice if I let go of the option key, you can see some things change. But this keystroke is, is the same regardless. It's shift option command I. Okay, so there we go. Brings up the add instrument track dialog box. So I'm going to add one instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro Stereo. Unless you have a surround system, which I currently don't. Um, so stereo. And the traditional thing to do is to add 16 tracks. Um, because you can have uh, 16 MIDI channels. But with the new um, MAS support, um, there's a lot more we can do. But uh, let's just keep doing it like this. All right, so you hit OK. And there are your 16 MIDI tracks. I'm going to hit Connect. There is a new instance of Vienna Ensemble. So I'm just going to um, select it and hit connect or just double click. And it came up. All right. So I am connected. Um, now I'm on a, a single monitor. So what I'm going to do, um, I use spaces a lot. I have a trackpad. Do that. I'm going to put this window right next door to Digital Performer. Boom. Okay. So there's that. All right. We can preserve it. Um, we'll just call it strings for now. Okay. So there it is. Um, so let me set up a couple of the things. So here is Vienna Ensemble. Command V, I can um, create an instrument track. So here is a contact. Okay, I'll just go ahead and load something. Uh, no big deal. Uh, let me load, uh, yeah, shells. There we go. So I got some last cellos. I'm going to put um, Vienna Ensemble in Mirror X mode. And what that does is, um, let me name this first. Okay, when I click that, brings up the hall that I'm in. I right click on this icon and I'm going to choose um, a profile. Now these profiles are really for VSL instruments um, or Vienna instruments, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and choose um, these Sardino cellos and mirror places it automatically. Okay. And then, let's see, I'll add a Vienna instrument. And I will go with a clarinet. All right. Let me just uh, 
set this up real quick. That's good enough for now. Okay. All right, so here's what we're looking at. We've got two tracks. Let me set this one up. In fact, it already knows what this one is. When you add a uh, Vienna instrument, uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro and Mir already know what the instrument is before you name it. Okay. Tell you what, give it a different color. There we go. So, all right. Um, so these are your MIDI ports. Um, MAS has 48, um, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go change this to 48. That's really awesome. I have to restart it for that to, to show up. Um, but there will be 48 ports there. And for each port, there are 16 MIDI channels. Okay. All right, so my cellos are on port one, MIDI channel one. The clarinet is on port two, MIDI channel two. All right, and so far, they're just going out the master bus, which... That its return is actually this instrument, which is going to the main out. Okay, but let's do something pretty cool. Let's create some buses. Uh, let's just do. We'll just we'll just do a couple. And. We're going to go over here. So, Vienna Ensemble output three, four, and five, and six. Okay. Um, Digital Performer is going to be able to now hear those uh, channels. So, this is the bundles I brought up, by the way. Okay. And I can name them. Um, so, these will already be named. So, Um, I'm just going to name it um, the same name as the instance. Okay. Uh, the reason I did that is I'm going to create a couple aux tracks. All right. The input for those aux tracks are now going to be that um and i'm going to create a uh, master fader track so this instrument right here is going to output one two and these auxes are going to output three four and five and six so Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back to Vienna Ensemble. I'm going to output this to three and four. I'm going to output this to five and six. Okay. And I'm going to go to my first MIDI track. And that'll be my cellos. Going to port two, and that'll be my clarinets. So you can hear cellos here. Um, well, you will you will in a minute. Um, and that's it. Um, if I go over here, you can see that the cellos are playing. Um, and then if I switch MIDI tracks, the clarinets are playing. Okay. 
and they they are coming back to here. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you one of my templates. So this is my template, or one of them at least, anyway. And uh, this is the way digital performers should look. Isn't that beautiful? That is a great theme. I love this theme. Okay, um, so over here on the left, I've got my instruments separated by group, obviously, by section. I've got winds, brass, percussion, and strings. Um, and you can see the name of the instance right here. So take a look at this. Um, when I click on the output for a MIDI track, um, I get all these options. So let me go to the one that this is plugged into. So this is uh, winds. So I've got 48 MIDI ports to choose from. And in each MIDI port, I've got 16 MIDI channels. So right now, flute is in MIDI port one, channel one. Um, flutes, let's move down. Um, oboe one is MIDI port one, channel three. All right, so, and so on. Um, so the server instances, um, you don't see them here. That is because they're here in the mixing board, but I've put them in V-Racks. So go to Chunks. So a V-Rack um, is a is a container. Um, and with Digital Performer, with Chunks, you can have multiple sequences. You can think of it as multiple takes, in a way. Um, so this is a sequence right here. This whole thing, this whole playback is a sequence. Um, I can create a new sequence, and I will have a blank version of this. Um, but what V-Racks do is you can put instruments in here. You can put, um, anything, but, uh, but, but MIDI tracks and the sequences can, um, it can access these. So if I create a new sequence, uh, whatever's in the V-Rack I can use. And right now I've got my, my server interface. So if I go to a new sequence, I'll still have access to um, my Vienna Ensemble instances. And I've got them in different spaces. So let me show you that. So I keep Digital Performer in a space, and then I keep all my instances in different spaces. So we'll take a look. Um, there's winds, winds contact some brass, brass contact, percussion, strings, and more percussion. That's seven instances. And right now I've got them set up to where um, they're all just coming back through one and two, through the master bus. So right now I'm just composing. I'm not, um, I'm not printing. So they're all going to be played back through these seven auxiliary tracks which goes to the master bus and then the uh, master fader all right uh one other little trick i want to show you real quick um that's really useful in digital performer um i think one um one thing about digital performer that's different than other daws is that our MIDI tracks are separate from our instrument tracks. So this this MIDI track does not contain the instrument like another DAW would do. Um, this is just a plain MIDI track. Um, so if I double click on it, I can edit it. So there, there's notes. 
Um, but that's this track is not containing an instrument. It's pointing to an instrument right here. This is how I'm pointing to an instrument. Um, I love working this way for several reasons. Um, one, in DP, you're always in multi tremble mode. Um, and two, we have a thing called MIDI device groups. And MIDI device groups are where you can take one MIDI track and point it to as many instrument tracks as you want. So if I want to play a violin, a flute, and a trumpet all at the same time, I've created that right here. So I created a new device group, and then I told it where to play. So right here is a violin, a solo violin. Right here is the flute, and right here is a trumpet. Okay. So I've got a track right here. This is it. This is the MIDI device group that I just created. So when I play, it's going to play that flute. It's going to play that trumpet in C. And it's going to play this violin right here all at the same time and I can record that back into here at the same time also so that's a really cool feature so this is what DP and VN Ensemble look like together um, really stable really works great um, and that's about it um, I'm having troubles with uh, Soundflower bed uh, keeps crashing on me. Um, I think I need to update it. So um, that's why I'm not playing any sound, but I'll do that next time. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments and um, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, whether it's about Digital Performer or Vienna Ensemble or both or how they're connected or if I left anything out. Let me know. Um, but that's it. Thanks, guys.